interest in fruits comes from my childhood when I was helping my grandfather here to pick the apples and I still remember this the aroma or the smell is really uh, like uh, a mix of fruit oil and uh, almond and I had my, my grandfather uh, and I had to be really careful when I picked the apples he said this is like eggs you have to treat them like eggs um, the stem on the apple had to be in the apple if you broke and the stem was on the tree then this was second class apple cider house with my family. I think the special thing about the cider house is that we are actually growing our own fruit organically since 1997 and we are canning our fruit and we are making the ciders and the fruit wines and the brandy. That's special that you can in a Norwegian orchard you can have the view of the Sognefjord. To make a hard cider you need a juice from apple. So the first step is to crush the apples and press all the juice out from the apples. Then you have the what you call the cider. And then to make the hard cider, you have to ferment this juice. And then we have a fermentation process uh, lasting around six months. Then you have what we call a still cider is not uh, sparkling. Then this is the double work and the double time. So you bottle the still cider with new yeast and small amount of sugar. And then the second fermentation will take place inside the bottle. The big work is to take out the sediment. Once every day we have to turn the bottles maybe from six o'clock till eight o'clock to four o'clock and then sediment will slide inside the bottle and make a thin thin line inside then it's the moment to shoot out the sediment every bottle has been touched at least 30 times by hand the most important thing is the taste of course we are working with the taste so point number one is to have a good taste. Point number two is to have maintained a good taste and <laughs> taste, taste all the way. <laughs> 